Welcome, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another Squadcast. I'm Camille. Joining me is Steve and Caboose. And every week, we throw it down on what we're all discussing and talking about in the community. We also have our friends today. We have Malik joining us. And we're going to be talking about the Game Award results. Because if you remember last week, we put our predictions in. We're going to see who reigned champ. Who is telepathic? Who knows what's what? Um, that's all going to be crowned today we're also going to be talking about cyberpunk or cyber bug 2077 very nice so now that you know what we're going to be discussing get your thoughts together let your voice be heard in chat or on our social medias at squad state all right we have a lot to discuss so let's get into it a uh, quick hi 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 guys who is who's the winner because we actually recorded all of our predictions down yeah i want to gloat yeah. i like gloating um so <laughs> I'm the winner. i know i was right about a few categories we all watched live or uh yeah did, did you guys, i watched did you all three hours Oh, it was long. Does was the winner long. get your little tinfoil hat? Is that what we no, get? That is fine. Yeah. Dang it. I want it though. Aww. What if I win? Come on. <laughs> Maybe I'll ship you another one. Maybe I'll just make I'll make it for you and then I'll I'll ship you out. And then Sounds the cool kids <laughs> will have. Um, all right, let's get to our first predictions because we started off in the esports categories. So the first one was best esports team. Now um the winner for this one was oh actually wait i'm trying to i'm trying to get it okay yeah there we go so let me go through the nominations so the nominations were a damn on gaming dallas empire g2 esports san francisco shock team secret and the one that took it away was g2 esports meaning that the only one who wasn't right on this one was Steve. What happened, bud? Steve. <laughs> I, I, I tried to go spicy with this one. I tried to go against the grain. It did pan out for me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. I'll, it, you tried. It, yeah. It, you tried. it was a valiant effort. Yeah. All right. We also have uh, best esports hosts. Um, and in this one, you know, we all lost, okay? <laughs> 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 category um machine dash shiver and golden boy was also nominated we all went for golden boy and Good i'm gonna say robbed. No, yeah okay i this like okay congratulations shocks like great great <laughs> for you I, you're awesome but golden boy i was really surprised by that one i was a little shocked too yeah i was shocked but uh i mean hey you know congratulations to shocks and uh but i i golden mm. boys robbed 100 <laughs> percent. let's say we were uh shocks hey, hey. Oh, all right no. oh man uh, that's oh. it for me i'll see you guys next week no. that is <laughs> the next category because that was bad um <laughs> <laughs> Best esports game. This one was actually a hot one. Um, yeah. So, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, Counter Strike, um, Go Global Offensive, Fortnite, League of Legends, Valorant. Now, the cool kids went for the obvious choice: League of Legends, which won. Duh. Um, <laughs> are you happy that you really stood there for your Valorant? Uh, yes and no, because every time I play Valorant, I always end up leaving the game with this pit in my stomach, like, why did I choose to play this? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I really hoped that uh, the Stockholm Syndrome would sink in for the rest of the people mm -hmm. voting, sure. uh, but, you know, League of Legends is just too good of a game. They got it. They got it, and they will keep getting it until something else comes out. <laughs> the end of uh, Riot, Riot's keeping it in the family. They're doing good, though. Riot, it's still a Riot game that won, so, you know, like half points there. Yeah. How much um, stock do you have in Riot? Uh, none yet. Oh, yet. Yeah. I'm waiting for a sponsorship. Fair. Fair. <laughs> All right. Best esports event. Uh, you had Black Premier Call of Duty uh, League Championship, uh, I am League of Legends World Championship. Overwatch League Grand Finals, who took it away? We were all right with this one. Uh, League of Legends World Championship. And yeah, I think, obviously, Legacy, and we went through the thoughts of this. We're like, Legacy Brand, probably going to win game, Damn. obviously going to win event. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So not made, a surprise here. Sense. Exactly. This was this was one where the less esports knowledge of us 
just kind of threw out guesses here. Um, mm -hmm. This is best esports coach. You had Zonic, Krusty, Grabs, uh, Zeppa, and Rambo. And Zonic took it away. Yeah. We all lost on that one. <laughs> Malik, what happened? Because I yeah. followed your lead. <laughs> Look. I honestly, I'll give you, I'll give you my joke answer. And I'll give you the serious answer. Joke yeah. answer. I thought Grabs had it in the bag. I, I thought he did. But it, in all reality, this category, not that this category doesn't doesn't matter yet, but it still needs some time to like get that. The esports category needs some more love. And this was a great first step. I think it's really hard to judge coaches because there's so many little nuances, mm -hmm. and it's anyone's bet. At the end of the day, though, I look at this category is just a way to recognize the people behind the players, behind the esports, behind the big categories, and I would have been happy with anyone who yeah. won here. Sure. That's a good way to put it. I, yeah. it. It's the same way where we'll get to it in a bit, but like the accessibility um, category, yes. like it's right. just one of those where you appreciate that people are being recognized more so than who exactly is the winner. Yeah. I, yeah. I agree. Um, I, I will also say... Although this is a great category, I'm I'm happy that everyone got the recognition. I'm actually very upset at Malik for leading me astray. So <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move on to best esports athlete. We have Crim Six, Shadowmaker, Canyon, Shadzi, and Zaiwu. Um, and who took it away? It was Showmaker. Let's go. And Kaboot was the only one who got it Caboose right. Caboose got it. Yeah. I can't remember. Was that like was that just like when we threw out there? I think uh, no. That was oh, a very he did his research. Well researched guess. What do you think? Yeah. Come on, come on, Camille. Showmaker. <laughs> no, <whoa. laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. you just called him out to all of us. So Dang. just luck. And with that, Caboose, you have nothing to say, so we're moving on. This okay. one was an interesting category, <laughs> okay, um, because it was Content Creator of the Year. Now, we had a lot of high hopes for this one. Uh, Alana Pierce, mm -hmm. Jay Ann Lopez, Nick Merce, Tim the Tatman, Valkyrie were all uh, nominated for this category. Now, mm -hmm. it was, um, I think it was split. Well, okay, you had Malik. And then you had us. We all <laughs> for Alana Pierce. <laughs> Malik went. I went for the safe choice. I <laughs> thought there's no way that Tim the Tap Man spending a month losing at Fall Guys could possibly lose this award. <laughs> there's no way. But you know, <laughs> Valkyrie oh, took it away. Yeah. Exactly. But she's got she's got the Hundred Thieves family behind her, so I'm not surprised. Hundred Thieves does a great job at supporting uh, their content creators and creating a community and a culture around their brand. Uh, yeah. So that's really not a, not uh, too unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think like a Hundred Thieves made like the top ten list of like esports orgs that uh, made lots of money this year, and mm -hmm. it's not because they're good in just one esport <laughs> but it's mostly because of that brand knowledge mm -hmm. and that whole family and culture around them and yeah you know yeah. i i think that played into this but i also think valkyrie she does have a really infectious personality like when you're watching her so like congratulations to her that's like really awesome this Absolutely. was another one of those categories where i remember when we were like going over it in our prediction for it I remember just saying that I wouldn't be upset with anybody here who would win because I feel yeah. that every single one of the content creators on the list had made, like they've all had some pretty crazy accomplishments over the year, you know, with Tim, the Tatman and fall guys, or even just in general, what he's done uh, on, on Twitch or with Valkyrie and all that she's done in her move to YouTube gaming, Jan mm -hmm. Lopez and what she has been able to do in, in the community that she's been able to build. And then of course, Alana Pierce with a lot of what she's done in appearing in cyberpunk, which we'll talk about later. Um, yeah. And then also <laughs> now working at Sony Santa Monica, writing the next God of War game. There's there's just a laundry list of accomplishments from top to bottom. And I wouldn't have been upset with whoever won here. Uh, the only thing that I think is worth mentioning is that I was definitely snubbed. Hopefully next year, Jeff Keighley will notice me and I could be nominated and uh, potentially win. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, Caboose. <laughs> yeah. Talk about snub of the year. It was definitely uh, Caboose Me. Uh, not being nominated for this category. But you know what? Okay, I know we do joke about it, but Caboose puts lots of work into his content. Like, 
He does create lots of uh, videos. He has a really great community. I would say one of the strongest NRS communities um, out there. Um, so you should be proud of that. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I just Thank don't you. know if that will come out to a Game of the <laughs> Game Award nomination for content of uh, of the year oh, next wow. year. But you know, you have my backing. Oh okay. sure. Okay. Know, you have our vote. As yeah, soon as I got your endorsement, Camille. I'd be like, yo, you need to hook my man up, you know? Um, <laughs> there we go. Maybe, maybe next year.